Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna talk about one glycoprotein located in coronavirus and in some other viruses. Before starting, let's look at the general structure of coronavirus. As you see here, this is the coronavirus and these things located in the nucleus are the RNA and the, uh, the proteins wrapping the RNA which is called N protein and then E proteins are enveloped proteins, M protein membrane proteins and this is hemagglutin esterase dimer protein and here these ones which gives the name of the virus because of its shape its crown shape spike glycoproteins today i want to talk about the hemagglutinin esterase dimer what is it for and how the virus uses this protein proteins let's go to other slide hemagglutinin esterase this is virus virus has to bind to the cells to do so it has to recognize some receptors in the cell. As you see, there are three different cells here, but if these cells, unless the cells has the related receptor which mediates the virus's binding to the cell, then the virus can't bind to the cell. As you see, our cell is this cell and virus binds to the cell because it recognizes the receptor on the cell. But receptors are not the only thing that mediates the virus binding. How virus bind to the cell? Bind to the host cells. The cell which virus binds, binds is called host cell. And virus binding can be mediated not only by protein-protein interaction with the receptors interaction to the virus, but also carbohydrate molecules. Also they are important, especially the sialic acids. These are also the determinants for the virus's choice to the specific cells. I didn't know that before, but I have just learned it. Like a proteins on virus membrane. Actually, the spike proteins and the hemagglutin esterase dimer are the glycoproteins of coronavirus here. And glycoproteins, the proteins having carbohydrate in the side part of the chain. Here is the carbohydrate, here is the protein. What does what do glycoproteins do to recognize the receptor on the cell surface? First thing is that as you see the the receptor on the cell surface was recognized by the glycoprotein of the virus. This is the glycoprotein. Two, to mediate viral fusion with the cell membrane. Here, vir virus come and recognize the receptor with glycoprotein and then its membrane is fused with this host cell's membrane and by this fusion, viral genomic DNA or RNA enters into cell. This is also the duty of glycoproteins. And third one, to destroy the receptor. After virus has utilized the cell and when cell is about to die then viruses are released from the cell but this can be done by destroying the receptor which has been used to enter the cells in the beginning and also these glycoproteins destroy this receptor and viral virus cells are released from the cell. Well in different viruses there are different glycoproteins and as I explained here, three main function of glycoproteins and HA, glycoprotein hemagglutin, it's located in influenza A and B, it has two functions, binding and fusion. It don't do the function of receptor destroying, but it can be done by a separate enzyme receptor destroying enzyme. And HEF, hemagglutinin esterase fusion protein. This is located in influenza C virus. And he, the, this enzyme, this glycoprotein, does all three function of glycoproteins. Binds, fuses with the cell, and destroys the deceptors. And the hemagglutinin esterase, which is located in coronavirus. And this is our topic. And just has receptor destroying activity, as you see. It doesn't mainly do binding and fusion functions is very weird here. In coronavirus, receptor binding and host cell fusion activity mainly belongs to spike proteins. So spike proteins are very important for coronaviruses. Not that much important the hemagglutin esterase enzyme, the glycoprotein. HA and HEF is necessary for fusion of influenza A, B, and C to the host cells. So they can't fuse with host cells if this enzyme 
enzymes are not exist 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 in this viruses but it's not valid for the coronavirus if there is no hemagglutinin esterase still the coronavirus can bind to the host cells because the fusion is mediated through spike protein let's see this figure here there is the resemblance of this three glycoprotein this one is the coronavirus glycoprotein as you see it is the smallest font one and it lacks many parts which are located in other two glycoprotein as you see and its structure here is the hemagglutinin esterase enzyme enzyme and here hemagglutinin esterase fusion glycoprotein HEF HEF has one more thing as you see which are located on the membrane this is also a shape of coronavirus coronavirus this is spike protein hemagglutinin esterase membrane proteins RNA and nucleocapsid as you see and and here we see something different too. This is the carbohydrate. This is sialic acid. Also, this is very important for some viruses binding. It is an important determinant for virus binding. As I said, I didn't know that the carbohydrates also are very important for virus binding. But here we see it. Thank you for listening. Here I will try to tell you about the hemagglutin stress. I hope you enjoyed and you have understood the structure. See you in next video.